Hello everyone, this is episode 3 of Five Nights at Zombos, the making of it, or basically how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Basically what we left off um, was, we finished all of this. That is the first part of Final Fantasy. After the loading screen, you go right to the office. So that is what we're gonna make today. The office. Not the cameras, cause I really don't know how to do that yet. But, let's get started. Make a new map. Do RPG. Something like that. Make sure it's on landscape, of course, and leave the rest as default, but name it Office. That is, I believe that is how you spell it. That's an I, by the way. And you could put it over here, but I'm just going to put it over here. You can put it in random spots. You can even go off to the back. Black, black area it's so cool you can just you can like put it all the way over here see look at that now it's all the way over here I just feel like that is kind of cool so it's really I I think there might be a limit on the solo but I don't know I know there's a limit on multiplayer if you choose multiplayer then you're only allowed to have one map I don't know how you would do that, if you want to see how to make a game out of that, I'll try, but I don't know how I would do that. But anyway, let's click here and do Office. It's a course. Do all of this, but I figured out a way where we do not have to have this character be seen. So we'll have him like in the random area, but we're going to have the office be kind of like in this area. So, let's uh, first make a wall. First things first, let's have it be like a dark gray like this. Done. We don't have to have it like that. Oh. So, yeah. There we go, there's one wall, and then click this button here, uh, this button, click that, and then this will show up, um, click copy, and now you can move the copy to a different part of it here. You always can try and make a line out, but it's not gonna do that unless you are super stupid. You know, unless you like do this, you can kind of make it bigger. Cause now, see. Now it's bigger, and now it's uh, a little more easier to control. Now with this, I want to make this a new thing. So now it's still the same thing, but now click the one that has... Click the um, settings button right here for the thing. Or you could just click on it and it will bring you to the... Yeah. 
and click on the blue um, settings and click here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this part here and change it up to like a black color there you go see now we can make a copy of this and now you can do the same okay it's pretty hard to get it online which I, which I do not like but okay no not too Okay, and now we can do this, and there we go. Now, we can do different things. I forget what does one do. Okay, yeah, one is that has nothing. We can use that for now. And we can also, when player starts, have the... If you go to map, you can click the camera, and you can click on a certain area, and that, and your camera will go to that area. And if we do that, see, there we go. And now, if we make it so we are able to have its finger swipe only on the X location, only or the X axis and now we are now able to move it not that far how far do you want the scale to be moved by three the max scale can we try six now? Alright. That doesn't really... I can't see it move when it's like this, so... I will... Maybe I will put, like, some... Black, so I know where... It stops, like this, see? Yeah, it's not doing anything. It's not moving, so I still don't know what Let's kinda make it so it's like a five. Uh, what? What'd I do? Oh, two. What? I don't understand. Zero point two. No, 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 no. Um, maybe you can try zero point one instead. No. Zero point three. There you go. Ah, what I Now let's try it. It's... <sighs> 
Let me do that. Do that. I don't understand what's going on. Last time I tried this, this walks. What is going on? Well, I don't understand. What was that? I guess we don't need these. Delete them. <clears throat> Table will be easy. There we go. That is the table. I kind of trying to make it 3D. Hopefully that worked. And let's make it a bit bigger. Now let's uh, do a floor. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, uh, 
Okay, now we actually gonna have to need those, or we can just use this. Let's just use those. Copy this, and copy this. There you go. And now, let's go to here. Do like a, a red color. There you go. Now make it go all the way around this area. There you go, that looks good. Let's actually move this down a bit so it looks like it's touching the floor. There we go. Now I'm going to move it up a bit so it kind of blocks that area. There we go, now that looks good. Now... Let's make a poster. Look up for our guys at Freddy's. Now... That works. We have to go here. And we tap this. And I think if you don't want the... Like the glow effect animation, you could have it be set as none. It just does the sound. But I think the the animation looks kinda good. Now let's make the TV, then do the doors, and then we will be done. First things first. Let's make the TV. Or the model. And we can make it like this. And we can copy three more. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that looks good. That looks good. There you go. Now, as you can see, we have this. And if that, I just saw that if it kind of goes like that, you can always have it be uh, the same color as your um, background. Well, it kind of looks like this. So now it. So yeah. Now it's just kind of glitches like that. Now it doesn't happen. And you don't have to change this guy here because you will never see him. If this has bugged you, I'm sorry. I'll actually fix that right now. Oh no. You can also ha hide stuff if you want. Right oh yeah. Let's fix this up. I don't need this. Seriously? No. Seriously? The thing is, it's, it's so hard to see it. Now, let's just... Do the rest of this. Basically, all you need to have it be black. 
as we will do the animations later. Now we have the door. By the way, there is a second door, does it? Because it's not that big. Alright, put it like that. Now we can uh, put it over here as well. Boom. There we go. This is kind of falling off the ground. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I feel like that looks good. Anyway. Yes, I know it's kind of like that, but I don't know how to fix it. So. Sorry, I'm still recording. I thought I didn't. I wasn't recording, okay? Now, let's do the buttons. Then we'll be done. Now, first things first is we do the buttons. Let's make the green button first. It actually looks like a pretty good size. Now, do it again. But, well, as you can see. Now, change it to a red color. There you go. Now it seems it to be that. There we go. Let's work on this button. Uh, let's make it so it doesn't grow. I just don't think that will look right. Anyway, we want to do a whole script. Follow exactly how I do it. So you can use this. It changes it so it would be this. And now we can add animation to it. Let's just click that button a couple of times. So now we can do that. Do it a bit more. Do it a bit more. I believe it was this one. Right on. Right on, I had you do a certain animation. Doing this and making sure it plays once and stop at last frame after you're done. And you're done with that script. Because instead of a light, you can do a light if you want to, but I'm not going to do a light because I feel that would be too hard for me. We're actually going to do, well, now again copy this so it does the same code again 
do this. And then change the color. So it'll be this. Now delete this. Delete that. And do this. So now it will be the same code except. We will do a different one. No, 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 I made a mistake. Click the copy button. And then click the next one. Hang on, I just figured something out. This one here. Uh, I didn't see that one. One one. Okay, let's look at it actually. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Uh, let's be done. There we go. Now it looks better. Now edit this. Make sure you do the next thing. But again, we will. Switch all of these, make sure this is the first one, and make sure this one is the second one, and this one, make sure that's the third one, this one will be the fourth one, and so on, and so on, until we have all of it like that. And now we have the door opening animation. You can save that. And now if you want that, you can see we have the door slayer animation and we have the door opening animation with those two buttons. Now we can actually copy this one and put it over here and copy the other one and put it all the way over here but go back to this one and we're also gonna change the code again this time we are gonna have it be to this guy right now to this guy here now we want to animate Yep, we want to animate the center animation to this one. And then this one, we will again do the exact same thing. Except we will be for this guy. No, wait. Yes. There we go. That one. And we can now save it. We can run it. And now, as you can see, the two buttons work. I want to see if we say if I don't think that will work. Anyway. Now we are basically now done with the office. Except one more thing. Head into settings and make a new UI. Name it Office. And then create it. And delete everything just delete everything and now make a button there you go you can delete the text if you want now we can have
now we can make sure this color is checked. Now we can have the color be like a grayish color, like that. Now we can have it over, uh, not, does overlay look good? I think overlay looks good. Maybe have it, either one, either top or bottom one looks good. So leave it on bottom, save it, and as you can see we have this, this actually does the animation, but this will be our little, um, camera scene when we do the camera. So, yeah. Uh, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Bye!